Hey everyone, it is time for today's pit break. What do you need? You need your band with the handles secured around something that ain't gonna move. I've got it around the trellis. Okay, and then you need your water bottles or your dumbbells for an overhead press. Cool, okay. Whatever weight works for you on your shoulders. Oh, there's the bell that's telling us we got 20 seconds before our first round is gonna start. This is our long circuit. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds to transition. We're gonna go one time through, top to bottom. Ready, set. I'll talk you through the rest. Okay, we are gonna start off with our hamstring curls. All right, let's start moving as I explain. Yeah, I don't wanna just stand there and do nothing. Let's, let's get to work here. Okay, so this is our circuit where we're gonna do each exercise, oops, there's my water bottle, one time through. If you can, if it feels good, I would love you to do this circuit twice for a 20 minute workout. Ideally, you would do it once mid-morning and then once again in the afternoon. So you get two metabolism raising sessions. If that doesn't work with your schedule, do as much as you can. All right, 20 second transition into our next move. We're gonna take it into our wide leg position toes open towards 11 o'clock and one o'clock, hands in front of the chest, and we're gonna do a three pulse squat. Ready? Here we go. Take it down and pulse for three, two, one, stand back up. Three, two, one, up. Keep going. If this does not work in your body, I want you to go back to those hamstring curls. I know, you might be feeling like you're doing hamstring curls all day, every day, but every little bit of movement is gonna help you improve and help work on all those muscles getting stronger. So right now we're working on strengthening the quadriceps and at the end of the workout, we're gonna work on strengthening the back of the legs. Whew. Okay, now it's time for our bands with the handles. Okay, we're gonna do an alternating row, palms are gonna face down, chest lifted, feet are that shoulder distance apart, knees bent, and we're going into an alternating wide row. Oh, there's our bell, here we go. This is our posture fixer for the day. Try and keep your hips still. So your hips stay squared off towards your anchor point, and then you do a little turn of your chest as you pull your elbow out and back. Focus on that spot between your shoulder blades and getting that little squeeze. Like you're squeezing a lemon right there between your shoulder blades and your mid back. My hands are about eh, a little lower than chest level. Let's let go of our bands. And now we're gonna go back to a little bit of cardio. So we're gonna start with a little right leg V-step. Okay, so let's go ahead and start that up a little before our timer. You can stay right here, or for a bit of a push, we're gonna take it double time. Okay, three, two, one, here we go. And it's like you're running tires, which I know we've all done that a ton in our lives, right? Sure. I run tires every day. Ooh, there are my water bottles. They're coming later. Okay, I'm on my toes. And I'm going forward and back on my mat because that's where I'm doing this. Around my mat. On my back patio. On cement. <laughs> I wish you it was on carpet. That would feel a little bit better. Whew, okay, now I'm gonna go back to my band. This time face away. Take those bands under my arms and go into an alternating chest press. So I'm a little bit closer to my anchor point. Hi. Elbows are out, shoulders down. And then one arm at a time, press out. So abs pulling in. And this time I'm keeping my torso still. I'm not rotating. Just taking that arm and going straight out. Pay attention to your shoulders. 
This should just feel like a little bit of work if it's uncomfortable. Palms face in, thumbs up. And that's more of a neutral grip. If it feels okay, keep those palms facing down and let that elbow reach out to the side. Ooh, a couple more. Oh, that's burning. One more. <sighs> okay, ended up even. Good job. Drop your bands. I'm gonna come back in the shade. Feels a little better. All right, we're gonna do that left leg V step. So let's go ahead and start with the left leg. You've got your imaginary rhythm section going behind you. And a couple more seconds here. You can stay right here. This is totally cool. Or we've got that little push. You ready? Double time. Let's go. If that feels good in your body. So all we should be feeling, it's like our heart rate's going up. We're breathing a little harder, but no pain, no pain anywhere. All right, let's keep that going. Knees are bent, you're in that half squat position. And I'm going forward and back on my mat. Forward and back, forward and back. So this is a little heart rate push. That's what we're trying to do. A little bit of interval training, raise our heart rates a bit. <sighs> there we go, not so bad. Now we're gonna grab those dumbbells. I'm gonna demonstrate with my ugh, water bottles today. And so we're gonna do a push press. Again, get our heart rates up a little bit, all right? We're gonna bring those weights up right next to our ears, sit our hips back, and then push those weights up. So we're going for a little bit of a dynamic pace on this to keep our heart rates up. Take a break whenever you need to. Now I'm doing those palms facing in, a little bit easier position on my shoulders but I'm also doing that because we're doing the leg action where we're sitting our hips back a bit and then standing up. Yes, a little bit of heart rate, a little bit to get the heart rates up, but don't worry, we get to lay down after this round. Yay! So now I'm gonna take it down on the ground. If this doesn't work for you, I want you to sit in your chair. So we're gonna work those abs a little bit. Belly to spine. I'm gonna pick my legs up, alternating toe tap. Right foot down, and then my left foot down. So what we're doing here is we're working those lower abdominals, and I want you to keep that low back anchored to the ground. Now, if this feels like too much work on your thighs, Put your feet down and do a march instead. Okay, that's gonna be a go-to position for you if when you have your legs up, your quadriceps and your hip flexors freak out. And that's my official terminology, you freak out. Okay, feet are gonna go down. Now I want you to grab those dumbbells again. Ooh. Arms are going to come up right over your shoulders, and we're going to do a combo glutes and triceps. Ooh, super fun. Lift your hips up, and then we're going to bend our elbows as we lower our hips, and then press everything back up. Lower, lift, lower, lift. I'm bringing those dumbbells right towards my forehead. It's called a French press. The not so nice name is Skull Crusher. Try not to crush your skull. We're working the triceps, back of the arms. As we work our glutes with our bridge. So we did those squats for the top of our legs and now we do a little work for the back of our legs. All right, go ahead and rest your dumbbells down. I'll do that. I'm gonna bring my feet and knees together, reach my hands back overhead, nice big breath in, and on that exhale, curl up, and then lower right back down. This is an ab prep from Pilates. If you need a little more support from your head, hands go behind your head and curl up. Now the reason I'm doing my arms is to help me not 
use my hands to curl up. So let's think about how we're doing this. Arms come up, we nod our chin, and we curl our chest towards our bellies, and then we roll back down. Arms, chin towards chest, curl, roll through. Press your knees together, squeeze those inner thighs, and we are all done. What? That was it. You did it. That was our 10 station circuit. Now, if you can, go back to the top and let's do it again. Just hit rewind, do it one more time. And then if you're feeling awesome and you've got the time, do this circuit three times for a full 30 minute full body circuit. All right, we're done for today. You did awesome. I will see you on our next fit break.